Game of the week, Justin Herbert, Lamar Jackson, LA Chargers, Baltimore Ravens, 4-1 versus 4-1. Who's going to come away with the win this week? Who's going to show they're the top dog in the AFC? It's the team that wins this one in the Buffalo Bills. To me, this is the game of the week. It's either this or the Cleveland Browns versus the Arizona Cardinals. One of these two matchups have to go down as it. I'm going to be getting into the breakdown, the matchup, my prediction, everything you want and need to know for this game. But before I do, i got to hear from you guys. What's your score prediction? Is it 41-47 or 42-47 like last week for the Chargers? Is it a shootout, a blowout, a one-score game? Whatever you think it's going to be, comment down below and you'll kind of hear my answer throughout. Getting straight into it, breaking it down from the quarterback matchup, this is just a preference thing. If you're a Baltimore fan, you're going to say Lamar is better. If you're a Chargers fan, you're going to say Herbert is better. To me, they're both balling the heck out. It's really hard to say one's significantly better than the other at this very moment in the NFL season. They're both MVP conversationalists, in my opinion. They're both hot. Both their teams are hot. It's just a preference thing at this point. To me, they're neck and neck, coming from an unbiased perspective. Looking at the backfield, I would favor the Chargers. If you look at pure running back, who is the starting running back for these teams? Austin Eckler is much better, in my opinion, than a Latavius Murray, Tyson Williams, Le'Veon Bell, whoever you want it to be. If you consider an overall run game, obviously then Baltimore might have a slight edge with Lamar being a part of that. So it really just depends how you look at that. Receiving room, I think the Chargers win this one all day. Mike Williams, Keenan Allen, Jared Cook, Donald Parham, uh, Jalen Guyton. No disrespect to Hollywood Brown, Sammy Watkins, Mark Andrews had an amazing week last week. I think the Ravens have some solid weapons, but just the way Mike Williams and Keenan Allen have been lately, Chargers win the receiving room. Offensive line. Without, I believe the Ravens don't have Ronnie Stanley, and then the Chargers, they don't have a very strong right side, losing Odea Bushi, losing Brian Balaga. So this is kind of a toss-up. You know, both of them have their pros and cons. Rashawn Slater, Matt Filer, and Corey Lindsley got the left side and center position down on the Chargers offensive line. And then Ravens, they're doing what they can with Kevin Zeitler, Alejandro Villanueva, the loss of Ronnie Stanley, yada, yada, yada. Another one that's kind of pick your poison. Looking at the defense... We do have to keep in mind the Chargers are likely, or I'm pretty sure they're out, Drew Tranquil this week. Kenneth Murray's been on IR, which is going to have a big impact on them. But you still got Joey Bosa. You still got Derwin James. Asante Samuel Jr. is being as good as a rookie really can expect to be. Uh, Tavon Campbell's in there. Michael Davis. Linval Joseph. They're working with what they got. That's 100% certain. And the Ravens. They're looking pretty good as well. Their rookie, Jason Away, Odafi Away, he's painting out to be a very good rookie. He's had some big, big plays for this Ravens team. I believe he caused a fumble or a huge sack in the indie game. I don't remember exactly. I think I want to say it was a fumble. He caused the fumble against the Chiefs that caused Clyde Arcelaire to fumble. He's having a huge impact alongside Patrick Queen, Justin Houston, who will probably be matching up with the Chargers' weaker right side on that O-line against Storm Norton. Uh, Clayus Campbell had that big block against the Colts kicker. Uh, secondary, Marlon Humphrey, Derwin James, that'll be a very interesting matchup. They also got Jimmy Smith and Devon Young, Deshaun Elliott. These are good teams. They're 4-1 and one for a reason. If you want to get real nitpicky, special teams, obviously, we got to give that one to the Ravens. Justin Tucker, the best kicker in the league, arguably, versus Tristan Vasquez, who's fighting to keep his job at the very moment. Head coach, I love Brandon Staley and the pace he's going at, but all time, I would give... It's hard for me to say I truly love Brandon Staley and how aggressive he is, but it's just a five-game sample size for me to say he's better than a Hall of Famer head coach and John Harbaugh. I would just kind of call that one a draw because I think Brandon Staley has a great and bright future, but it's just so soon to really say he's better than John, if you guys get what I'm saying. So it's a tough game. This is a tough matchup for a reason. As you saw, both of these sides had their advantages and disadvantages. The quarterback's kind of a draw. The O-line... That left side of the Chargers, I think, is really strong with another draw. Receiving room, I'd give to the Chargers. Uh, backfield, I would give to the Chargers. If you consider just RB, front four, front seven, the Ravens may have my vote just due to the loss of Drew Tranquil. And then in the secondary, that's another tough one. Just depends who's having the better day. Derwin James and Marlon Humphrey. I love Derwin James. I think he's one of the premier safeties in the league. And Marlon Humphrey's one of the premier corners in the league. But I just think I might... I might give the edge to the Chargers secondary if they're all healthy, but another tight one. And, you know, Ravens being at home, that's another advantage. Arguably ha having the much better special teams. Arguably having the better head coach. 
both of these teams got their pros and cons against this matchup. If you look at the odds in this game, give it one second to load. It's got to be close. You can see Baltimore is favored by three. That sounds about right with them being the home team. 58% Baltimore, 42% Chargers. Chargers are used to being the underdog. To me, this is a playoff moment. Being the underdog, heading into an away game, having high expectations, this is a playoff moment for the Chargers. Them beating the Chiefs was a, I don't want to say surprise, but like it just wasn't expected for them to beat the Chiefs. There was no huge expectations, so it was cool to be the underdog. Now they're an underdog who has, everyone knows, has a fighter's chance, and therefore this is a big, big moment for this Chargers team. Not to say if they lose this game, they're worthless, they're not a playoff team. I do truly believe this Chargers team will be in the postseason, but this is a postseason type of game for them to go into. Last week against the Browns, it was a 50-50 split game. They had the home field advantage. There was no huge, it was a very, very nitpick who's going to win this type of game. And now they're the official underdogs. They're going to an away territory. They're playing the Red Hot Ravens and Lamar Jackson. So therefore... This is a big, big playoff moment. They're at a weird disadvantage as far as the matchup goes. The Chargers have one of the worst run defenses, and the Ravens have one of the best run offenses. This is a playoff moment for this Chargers team to see. Can they win these uneven matchups that would be an away game? This, There's a lot on the line here as far as how nitty-gritty is this Chargers team. How much can they handle? Can they handle a Mahomes a well-rounded Browns, a Lamar, and undefeated Raiders. The fact that they went 3-0 in those past three games is enough. I don't care what happens in this game. As far as win and loss, it won't change my expectations of whether or not they will make the playoffs. But as far as are they the favorites in the AFC, if they win this game, I truly believe so. So, again, they can't lose much from this game, but there is so, so much to gain is the way I would word it for this Chargers team. And Baltimore... Same goes for them. A lot of people are getting criticism off of them. Yeah, so what? You you squeaked away from the Chiefs. Great game. Kudos to you. But still, you played the Broncos. You played the Colts. And some of these games aren't that that tough. This is a tough opponent for each team. This is a real test for each team. And I'm very, very excited to see it. We'll have to see how it ends up. Like I said, the Chargers are favored. Or excuse me, the Ravens are favored minus three. And that's really due to them being at home, in my opinion. We're not going to see a lot of blue and yellow in this Ravens stadium by any means. But like I said, the Chargers are used to that. They're the underdog in this team, in this matchup. And this is a big, big test, I think, for both teams. Like I said, the odds right there are 42%, 58%. You're not going to see many closer ones, maybe a 55-45. But it's very rare you see a 50-50 split matchup. I'm excited for this game. The way I see who will win... My heart and gut tells me the Chargers. My brain tells me the Ravens. To me, they're both due for a loss. If I'm being completely honest, I think both of these two teams are so, so hot right now that they're going to catch a, the right hook off guard just because. So they're both due for a loss. But I do think this will be a tight game, a close scoring game. I do not see either one winning by several scores by any means. I think it is just going to be a tough, tough game. Again, heart and gut tells me Chargers. Brain tells me Ravens. So... My final score prediction would probably be 30-28 Ravens, 30-28 Chargers. Just flip-flop one way or the other. Who wants it more? Both of these teams got these, got their absolute advantages, their absolute disadvantages, pros and cons, however you want to look at it. And that's why it's going to be such, such a good game. But I got to be in very, very close game. You guys tell me what is your score prediction. As always, of course, is there a player, an injury scheme? Just anything I didn't talk about, of course, let me know. As always, of course, guys, thank you for watching. Two in the morning.